talking about a push gouge today. It's important for a push gouge to work properly that it's good and sharp and it's sharpened correctly. You want to keep this angle on the push gouge relatively low. If this gets steep, the tool cannot cut into the horse's hoof the way it needs to. Okay, the first thing to do, this is a new gouge, but the first thing to do is establish a good straight line and this angle at the right angle. See, I've got a nice flat surface here now. I've got some good light on the subject. It's hard to do fine work unless you have good light. Now we come around and we keep this bevel coming back a long way to keep the tool sharp. There we've got a nice bevel to it. We still have a complete ring here. We haven't nicked it in any spot. So we've come this far with an 80 grit belt. Now I'll go to a buffer and clean it up a little bit. Get my flat spot, make sure it's all clean and nice. And buff up that outer edge. Should be good to go. Okay, here's how I clinch. I've blocked the nail. Now I'm going to just take and get the ends square, get them the same length, or remove the burr nail, not hoof wall, but nail underneath the nail. Not the gouge, it's just a simple straight in and pop up. Pop that little piece of hoof out of there. You don't have to scoop with it. The nail has already cut the back side of the clinch. Sorry, the nail has already cut the back side of the hoof wall. So you should never have to touch the nail with the, with the push gouge. You simply set your clinches into the hole that you've created with the gouge. Using the gouge, I always have two hands on it for control and I'm always pushing to the foot towards my knees. So I finish one side of the foot and rather than trying to reach here like this, I just simply walk around and then I'm always pushing towards my knees with the tool. On a hind foot, on a hind foot there's a trick to using it. Here we're in much the same position as we are on a front foot. But it's hard, either you have to get under the horse's belly. But what I do is get my arm and my elbow clear around here and I brace this arm against my thigh. And so now I can push with my thigh here a little bit and use the gouge this way without having to get underneath the horse's belly if I don't want to. So here's the push gouge. It's a cast aluminum handle that should last a lifetime and with a little Allen wrench you remove this set screw and the bit comes out. If the set screw is loose enough. So what you do with your Allen wrench is you loosen the set screw and the bit will come out. It's a double ended bit. If one side gets used up or dull during your day, you can flip it around quickly and easily. Tighten up your set screw, you've got a new tool ready to go to work. Uh, this groove in the back is designed that you can put your index finger right there and allows you to push the tool.